Okay, now I'm going to look at if you want to create a service and maintenance record, formerly known as a CP6. So again, click your customer's icon within Sprint Mobile. Then you go to your eye at the top to get your list of um, reports. And what we're going to do now is use our um, filter, which is the little inverted triangle at the bottom, to um, pick the reports that are going to go into creating this service and maintenance record. So I'm going to look at work I've done today, and I'm going to click SMR, service and maintenance record, and then click OK. So you'll see it's now just filtering out just the reports that are relevant to create one of these reports. So I'm going to click the operate impression of flue gas analysis. I'm going to go to my three little dots at the bottom of the page and I'm going to select service and maintenance record. OK, and a bit like if you're used to using the landlord certificate that we do, this is the same sort of thing. So you go in and you, you fill it out in a normal way. So, um, you know, again, just like you would on the report, you'll tick and cross whatever it is you're looking at. Um, OK, next, what we're doing here is we're assuming that nothing's been checked. Now, the things that you have gone and checked, say you looked at the heat exchanger, you can click on that and say, yes, I've checked that. You can add notes to that if you want to. So if there's a defect, you might start typing something in there um, to the, that will then appear on the report. There might be things that are not applicable, and I'm just picking things at random now, but you can click, you know, you don't, the point is you don't have to do them all. Um, you can just select the ones that you actually um, touched as part of the service and maintenance that you've been doing. Um, again, same sort of idea, you're just going through the list, so I'm going to, again, randomly choose some, put some um, words onto the, some of them here, so... I'm a beautiful person. There you go. Um, okay, is it safe for use? Yes. Next, uh, next inspection due date, and you've also got there. Um, again, if you want to schedule a return annual service, you can schedule a, a reminder in your diary at this point as well. And again, if you want to add any notes, any remedial work, again, you can you can add that uh, up to five thousand um, words there. So uh, once you've done that. Then you go finish. Okay, and it will create the report. And now, if I take that filter off to show all of my reports again, and then at the top of the list will be that service and maintenance record. And it will look like this, sort of familiar with, in terms of what you've seen previously with the CP6. Um, okay, and then at the bottom, because we did add some um, notes, we've got a second page there with the remedial work and any notes that I wanted to make. Thank you.